Hi, it's Emily Lee, part of Art from the Heart, and in this video I'm going to create a card using a new stamp set from Paper Smooch, which is called TikTok. This set is filled with great time pieces and sentiments, perfect for all sorts of occasions, from friendship and thank you to love and parties. Let's talk about the stamp set. My favorite is the wristwatch, which includes solid stamps for the band, as well as a clock face. Adorable little arms are also included. There are four individual sentiments, plus one that is inside an alarm clock so fun. There's a retro style alarm clock. I also love the adorable cat clock with the swinging tail. There's the big wall clock with two types of arms for you to choose from. Lastly, there's a tiny eye with lashes and a mouth to make your own faces. So that's it and you can start to imagine how you'll use these fun stamps. Okay, so I'm starting with a piece of cardstock slightly smaller than the standard A2 size card and randomly stamping wristwatches all over this panel to create a background. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I try to use different directions and ends of the wristwatch as much as I can. It helps to continue turning the card as I stamp, that way I can visualize the different directions easily. And I'm doing this throughout the entire process of making this card. Now I'm going to stamp the clock face onto the watchers using Memento Lux ink and Dandelion. This is a nice, bright, happy yellow. Next I take Pear Tart, Rosebud, and Bahama Blue to give color to the bands. These inks give the smoothest coverage and I find that they work better when I take the stamp pad to the stamp instead of pressing the stamp onto the ink pad. Do you remember the swatch brand of wristwatches? I owned a few of them when I was a teenager, and stamping these colorful watches reminded me of them. I loved all the different clock faces and wristband designs. It was fun to mix and match to create my own unique watch. After all the watches are filled in, I use a wink of Stella marker to add shimmer to the perimeters of the clock faces. You may be able to see a bit of the shimmer on the video. I really love how it adds that extra little something. While adding the shimmer, I noticed that I missed three clock faces, so I'm going to fill in those now. Now that the colors are done, I can go ahead and stamp the little arms onto the clock faces. Since I'm stamping on pigment ink, I'm going to use Versafine Onyx Black to ensure a crisp black outline. For the sentiment, I'm going to take the dual die one and die cut the center rectangle from both black cardstock and vellum cardstock and layer these together. Next, I'm going to take the oval one dies and cut an oval from the vellum piece that's big enough to accommodate the sentiment I want to use, which is I love you big time. I'm going to use washi tape to hold the die in place before running it through my big shot.
Now I can stamp and heat emboss the sentiment onto the black panel. First I'm going to use the embossing buddy to prevent tiny specks of powder from sticking where I don't want it. Then I add Hero Arts white embossing powder to the ink and apply heat. First I'm going to clean up the dust and remove a tiny fleck with a small brush. Next I'm going to assemble the layers, but first I'm going to punch a couple of holes to incorporate charcoal baker's twine from the twinery. I'm going to take my 1 8 hole punch and punch two little holes on either side of the oval. Then I'm going to string the baker's twine and tie two little bows. I decided don't like how the vellum is sliding around so I add a couple of micro glue dots to hold the panel in place. The key to using adhesive with vellum is to hide it and here I'm doing just that since the twine bows will hide the dots. I think about tying twine around the entire panel, but after visualizing it, I decide it's too much. I do think about it a second time, but I end up just adding foam tape to the back of the sentiment panel. Before adhering that, however, I'm going to adhere the background to the card base. Here I'm trying to place the sentiment in the sweet spot. The sweet spots are the four points where the grid lines for a nine-section tic-tac-toe game would meet. That's the best way for me to describe it. In the rules of design, you, if you choose one of these spots for an off-centered sentiment, it will always look right. Now my card is done. Please refer to the supply links below if you're interested in any of these products I used in this video. You can also visit my blog for stills and more information about my card. Thanks so much for watching.